Okay, I know it's been three weeks. I've been pretty late. I've had stuff to do. But we got another video. This is why the Cowboys suck. Cue it! DA got that dope! So as you know now, the Cowboys, or the Cowgirls, are 2-7 and seven and are now getting worse. So there's a lot of factors to this, mostly injuries, O-line, Jerry Jones being a terrible general manager and being a terrible cap manager. There's a lot of things that factor into this. Oh, thanks to Shifty for recommending this video. I know it was like a month ago, but thank you. Um, I'll post a comment right here. Yeah, here it is. Yeah. Sorry for waiting so long for a response. But, um, he's also the dude who made me an intro, so go to his channel and subscribe. Yeah, so thanks for the recommendation, but now, let's go into the video. So now we need to go a backstory. Last year, the Cowboys won 8-8, eight and eight, second in the division, missed the playoffs. You already know, Dak had like 4,900 passing yards. He signed a franchise tag, didn't go well. Explosive offense, bad defense. Now it's the opposite. It's both. Terrible offense. Terrible defense. Most of this credits to the Dak Prescott injury against the Giants. They won that game. But Dak before was winning the league in passing yards and was going to have a career year. And the, I'm be honest, Cowboys probably would have gotten at least 7-9 and nine if he was still there. But after that, they had many quarterbacks after, which is Andy Dalton, that Got a concussion from that dirty hit against Washington. Then he got COVID. So then went to Ben DiNucci. He sucked. Then Garrett Gilbert. And he's okay. Another reason is the Cowboys running game has been awful with Zeke. Zeke's had a massive regression. Averaging 3.8 yards per carry. Tony Pollard has been playing better than Zeke. Which is weird. He's also averaging 65 yards per game. Because the Cowboys are usually behind, which Zeke is not used to. Most of this goes to O-linemen getting hurt, like Tyron Smith got hurt out for the year, Lyle Common Collins out. I think Connor Williams was also out. Travis Frederick's old. The O-line's falling apart. Cowboys have so much money to pay to the dudes that they sign contracts to, and the thing is they can't even afford the money, so they're kind of damn there. And that's... Why they're two and seven right now. They also have a pretty tough schedule besides having the easiest division, like the Eagles are literally Three, like five and one, which is win and winning the division, which is terrible. I you I'll show you right here. Yeah, this is the NFC East right now. You see it's terrible, literally. The Eagles are on top three, five and one. No one has a winning record. The Giants are second. I think the Giants end up winning the division, but you see, they don't have a hard schedule either, so Another they're really collapsing. Reason- the, why the Cowboys are struggling is the people that the Cowboys have paid the big contracts have not performed. Like Jalen Smith, they gave him like a hundred million something. He's done nothing. Demarcus Lawrence has had eight sacks in twenty five games after the richest deal in Cowboys history, which is terrible. They play their linemen a lot of money. Most of them are hurt. Zeke has not performed to his $96 million deal. He's averaging 3.8 yards per carry. Dak's on the franchise tag, and they probably have to franchise tag him next year because he got hurt. There's just, there's a lot of blank holes in the Cowboys. Like, you could go on and on. Like, I could spend a whole video just talking about the Cowboys' terrible contracts. But we're talking about why they're bad. So, yeah. Also, Cowboys' defense has been terrible. They're like, Setting records of, like, allowing points, which is bad. Also, the offense, with Dak, it was amazing. No Dak, it is a dumpster show. Like, I've, I'm forced to watch the Cowboys sometimes because most of my family are Cowboys fans. It, it's a pain to watch. I kind of enjoy them losing, but we're not going to have bias here. The Cowboys' defense has been god-awful, allowing most of the losses like even if the Cowboys offense goes off 
they'll probably choke because of their defense. Like, for example, watch the game against the Browns, and you'll just see the defense sucking it. Also, Mike McCarthy has been worse than Jason Garrett. That was a terrible hire. Mike McCarthy does not have, know how to coach the team. He's using his stuff from 1993 and using it in 2020. And that's not working. Okay, but I've been shitting on them all video. So now let's get a bright spot why the people thought the Cowboys were in contention. Before the year, they had three stud receivers, C.D. Lamb, Amari Cooper, and Michael Gallup, which most of them have performed except Amari Cooper, who's not done shit after his contract, which is another trend with the Cowboys. They also had Zeke, didn't live up to the contract, but he still has a couple more years to prove himself. Blake Jarwin looked promising, but he tore his ACL week one. And Andy Dalton, they seem to have the best two quarterbacks in Andy Dalton, Dak Prescott. I'm not saying Dak Prescott's a top 10 quarterback. I'm saying, like, best backup starter, like, stuff. Like, they have the best backup in Andy Dalton, and he hasn't lived up. So if Dak got hurt, they got Andy. Also, their defense before the year was actually doing really good with Demarcus Lawrence, Jalen Smith, Awuzie, Wit, but they haven't done shit. And also, a big factor of this is losing Byron Jones, their best corner, which went to Miami, which was a big part of that defense. And after he's left, defense has gone south. Also, this isn't all Dallas's fault. Part of this is Jerry Jones, too. He should have gotten fired a long time ago, even though he's rich and all. But Jerry Jones has made dumb decisions in paying the wrong dudes, drafting the wrong dudes. Like, C.D. Lamb's been a stud, but I don't get why would you draft another receiver with Gal and um, Cooper. They should have drafted someone in the secondary or a defensive lineman. So, good pick. They're drafting positions they don't need. Same with the Pollard pick. Another factor in this was they signed Gerald McCoy earlier in the year. He tore his ACL in training camp, though, and he got cut. Same with Dontari Poe. They signed him because they thought he'd be big. But he also got cut, but he didn't perform. So that was different. Like, they've had a lot of big names that don't perform Dallas. Also, Everson Griffin. That got traded after a couple of games with the Cowboys. And he performed well. So at this point, they're just tanking. Because they're projected to get the number three picks. With the number three pick, I don't know what they get with that. Maybe someone in the secondary defensive lineman. At this point, you don't know. A lineman, maybe a quarterback if Dak still isn't committed. But they're not going to do good this year. They're not going to win the division. They're probably going to go dead ass. But here's the thing. Most of this is Jerry's fault. Yeah, so that's what I think on why the Cowboys suck. Thank you, Shifty, for the recommendation. And I know this video has been longer than usual. Um, Yeah, it's probably been my longest yet. So sorry for making it that long. But, you know, got to put some content to make up for three weeks of not uploading. And sorry for that. Um... Yeah, I had stuff to do, so I couldn't upload. Well, see you next week, and peace.